Hi, my name's Marissa. I'm one of the co-hosts of Book Talks Podcast, and this is Reading with Ress. We have breaking news on the May Book of the Month picks, so I wanted to go through them with you and also do a little show and tell because I already have one. So let's get right into that. For those of you who don't know about Book of the Month, it is a book subscription service where you pay anywhere from $14 a book to $16 a book, depending on your level of subscription. These books are read and vetted and reviewed by some great people over at Book of the Month, and they give you five to seven options every month. There's generally, and I say generally because not always, multiple categories of books like thriller, romance, historical fiction, fantasy. I will say recently I haven't been super impressed with the selections, but hopefully things are changing because I'm very impressed with this month's selection. So let's go over the five books that they chose for May, and then I will also show you one of the books because I already have it, and I will let you know if I recommend it or not just in case you're on the fence. The first book that they have, and I'll try and put a picture here, is called Breathless by Amy McCulloch. This is a thriller, and this is one that I'm pretty intrigued by. The little blurb says, The chilling story of a mountaineering expedition gone very, very wrong. Make sure you have your oxygen pack ready. I will say that I historically get thrillers from Book of the Month, and I pretty much always like them. This may be my choice this month, but... There's another one I'm also interested in, which we will get to, I think it's the fifth pick, so let's keep going. The next one they have is literary fiction. It's called Yerba Buena. It's an early release, so that means you'll be getting it before it even comes out. The blurb says, brimming with warmth and humanity, this is a tale of two perfectly imperfect women yearning for something to call home. I think that sounds really nice, um, kind of contemporary fiction, and... Again, it's early release, so it's kind of a benefit of Book of the Month. If you want this book early, I would make this your selection. The next one, which <laughs> sounds really good but may be too scary for me, it is Gothic Fiction, and it's called The Hacienda by Isabel Cañas. Hope I'm saying that right. The blurb says, What would you do if the house you just moved into turned out to be haunted? We're talking some properly gothic stuff. This one is a debut author. I think, is this her debut book? I'm clicking in to see if it says, ooh, good things to know, psychological, forbidden love, supernatural and creepy. <sighs> it sounds really good. I, for those who don't know, I love psychological thrillers and forbidden love is a great trope. This one is technically considered gothic fiction. Not really sure what that category entails, but, you know, if you're looking for something different and maybe a little creepy, that would be a really good choice. The next book is historical fiction called Take My Hand by Dolan Perkins Valdez. The blurb says, The moving story of a fiercely protective nurse who will stop at nothing to get justice for the girls in her charge. Let's see, it covers social issues, it has real-life characters and it's set in the 70s, it looks like. For those of you who know me, you know I'm not a big fan of historical fiction, but there's a big group of people out there who love historical fiction, so I have a feeling we'll be seeing this one on Bookstagram. The next option, oh, this is the fifth option, which means they gave us a sixth, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, okay, awesome. This is the one where I actually have a show and tell. How exciting. This is Romance, It's Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez, or Jimenez, I'm not sure how to say it. This, I got an early release copy from Abby and her team. We actually reviewed this book over on Book Talks Podcast, Season 4, Episode 2, I believe. Such, such a great book. Romance, I'm not a huge fan of romance, if I'm being completely honest, and I gave this five stars. This was really good. I love the characters. I love the story. It's about um, an older, older woman. She's 37 years old, looking looking for her place in the world. So it was, it's just a really great book about someone kind of finding their place, finding where 
this guy, Daniel, fits in. He's got a baby goat. I cannot recommend this one more. It is so good. But if you're just interested in the book of the month blurb, it says, this charming story of an unlikely small town romance will have you swooning and firmly reassured. Love can conquer all. Oh, that's a good blurb. It says it's emotional, 400 plus pages. What? I read it so fast it didn't feel, didn't feel that, that, um, that long. It, it reads really fast. The last pick, and this is the one I might be getting. I don't normally get fantasy from book of the month because it's kind of hit and miss in my opinion, but this one is called Darling Girl by Liz Mikowski. It says, revealing dreams as nightmares, this gripping Peter Pan rewrite reveals a complicated story of fate and fortune. I love a good retelling and Peter Pan's not one that I do often, but I think Peter Pan, like just the story in general is actually kind of creepy. And so I think a retelling could be really good. Some of the things that it says are good to know is it's a puzzle, it's action packed, it's based on a classic. They also give an FYI, so kind of a trigger warning here. It says this book contains a scene that depicts sexual assault. So if that's something that is going to be hard for you to read, I don't recommend this one. I appreciate, I really appreciate that book of the month gives that disclaimer because, you know, if you got this book super excited and then that disclaimer wasn't there, you might be disappointed. I, I'm not sure. I, I, I kind of want to get my darling girl, but I also think Breathless sounds really good as well. I'm very happy with this month's picks. I was disappointed in last month. I actually skipped last month, did not find anything I liked. So I'm, I'm really excited for this month. Let me know in the comments what you'll be getting. I'm very curious and let me know if you've already read any of these or you recommend them. Sorry if you can hear my mom sweeping in the background. She is sweeping out there. I hope the camera's not picking that noise up. Sorry if I look a mess. I just wanted to throw this together really quick and get it up there in case you were wondering what the options were, waiting for the May books like I was. I do wanna know what you guys are getting, so let me know in the comments. If this video was helpful, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and when I get my book, I will do a little show and tell. Can't wait to see you then. I'll talk to you later.